guys, so I just wanted to make this quick video and show you how I made the plate wall that's behind me. Someone had left a comment and asked how I did it, so I thought I would just, you know, whip up a quick video and show you. I do have a full blog post about how I made them, which I'll link below if you want to see, like, detailed pictures. I may insert some pictures here um, from that blog post if you don't feel like going over there to look at it. Um, so basically what I did was... I got the, um, all the plates that you see on the wall, I got at a thrift store, for the most part. I think I got these plates with the little, um, there's like little polka dots around the edges. I think those were from Target, but everything else that you see was from a thrift store. And basically the way that I made it, or how I just came up with the idea was, I was just looking on Pinterest, um, and other blogs and things to just get an inspiration for what to do with this wall because the window is centered. Sorry, my like chandelier is in the way, but there you go. I wanted something on either side of the window just to make it look balanced and pretty. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do picture frames or something like that. I wanted something a little bit different than just a square picture frame. So I saw, uh, you know, different ideas for plate walls on Pinterest and again, other blogs and things. And so I basically, you know, decided I wanted to do plates. So I wanted to do also circular plates or oval plates because you can do square plates. I've seen that before, but because our room is just so square, you know, there's a lot of squares going on with the window and the walls and everything. I thought circles would be a little bit better and a little bit more like unique. So what I did was I took all my plates and traced them onto pieces of paper. And then I took my paper and first I laid it out on our table, which is full of thrifting goodies, which you'll see before you see this video. Um, and I traced out all the circles and then laid them out on the table to get a um, design that I liked, a pattern that I liked. And then once I liked it on the table, I transferred it to the wall and I labeled on each piece of paper which plate. I stuck a little piece of like painter's tape on the back of the plates and numbered them. And then I, you know, wrote onto the piece of paper what the number was for the plate. Yeah. So after I wrote out the numbers on the pieces of paper, I put them onto the wall and then I had to decide how I was going to hang the plates. So this is where I'll insert a few pictures. The couple ideas that are out there right now are to do these plate hangers that kind of surround the front of the plate and that's how you hang them on the wall. Or you can get these, um, these plate hangers that are adhesive that stick onto your plate and then they have a little hook and you can hang it on the wall like that. But the sticker wall hangers, plate hangers, were a little bit more money than I wanted to spend because you know I'm cheap and I like to do things on a budget. Um, and then the other first option, I didn't like how that looked. I didn't want to see the plate hanger coming out from behind the plate onto the front of the plate. So basically what I came up with it's definitely not something that I had seen, but it worked for me and I was a little hesitant about it. I didn't know if it was going to work, but these plates have been here for, I don't know, a year or two and they haven't fallen. So I guess it worked. Um, and let me take one down and show you what I did. Okay. So this is what the hangers I use look like. They're just little pieces of like canvas with a hook at, with a hook at the bottom. And I got them at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can get like a pack of 10 or 15 or so for like $2. So they're super cheap. And one side is kind of has like a glue on it that you activate with water. And these are meant to stick onto a wall and then you would hang a picture off of the hook if you didn't want to nail a hole into the wall or if you had like plaster walls or something. But basically what I did was I cut off the hook because all I really wanted was that hole at the bottom. So I took a really strong pair of scissors or like metal, you know, clippers and clipped off the bottom part so that I got the hook off completely. And then it just looked like this. So just the hook at the top and then I activated the glue, you know, with a little bit of water and pressed it down and just, I think I maybe put something on it that was weighted and I let them dry for a, a good amount of time because I really wanted them to be on for the long haul. And they are, they've stuck on just fine. And then what I did, all I did guys was took a thumbtack. If you can see that there's just a thumbtack sticking out through there. So I put it in from the front so that it sticks out through the back. And that's how I stuck them on the wall guys. So I basically would take my plate now that I'm going to put it back on. 
find the hole that's on the wall, which there it is. You can see I've rehung this plate a few times just to get the uh, the dimensions right. But basically, I'm going to find the hole where I put it, and I'm going to push down. Okay, and there you go, on the wall, and I've had no problems with them falling or anything like that. So I'm pretty confident to tell you that this is a great way to hang plates on the wall because it worked for me and as long as you have you know, adequate time to let the adhesive strips really adhere or if you want to be extra cautious you could put a little bit of super glue on the back of it and super glue the hangers to the back of your plate if you really are being cautious and it works really great and it was really inexpensive. One thing I do want to note to you is that this plate is actually not a ceramic plate. It's a little um, like silver or tin tray that was for, you know, serving, but I spray painted it high gloss white because I wanted to add just a little bit of a different style to just all the regular circles. I liked the scallopy details of that dish. That's not actually a plate, it's a dish. So that's it for the plate wall. I hope that was helpful to the person that asked me about it. Or if any of you are just interested in doing a plate wall, that's how I did mine. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.